what's up guys it is cooking Kyle and we have Ashley assistant chef here and I am the head chef today we are going to be making chicken dip with buffalo sauce so what what's the what's the full name of this? buffalo chicken dip I kind of just said it backwards but basically that, that's what we're making um, in this pot we have our shredded chicken and it is two cups of boneless skinless chicken breast four cups because we're making a double recipe exactly we have one package of mild cheddar cheese two packages because of the double batch of our cream cheese we have the main ingredient pretty much this will, this will make gives all the flavor this is the big pot here the red hot franks or franks. the franks red hot <laughs> Uh, and then some additional ingredients. We have some garlic, pepper, and salt. Nothing too crazy. All right, let's get this going. Okay, and our chicken is finished in the crock pot. We have two pounds sitting in there. And we're about to take that out and put it into this bowl right here. And we're gonna shred it. And then we are going to add all of these ingredients, cheddar cheese, two packages of cream cheese, and the main ingredients. Frank's Red Hot Original. Alright, first we're going to add the seasonings to it. Mix it around. So you're going to add the cream cheese. You're going to put it in little globs around the thing. So it's not all in one spot, and as it melts, it'll all come together. Now that we put the cream cheese in here, we are going to turn the crock pot back on and let it sit for about 15 to 20 minutes until the cream cheese is warmer so that it can all mix together, and then we'll add in the shredded cheese and the Frank's Red Hot. We're going to throw these puppies in the oven and bake them. Make the house nice and Apologize for that interruption. Okay, back to cooking Kyle. So, what we have here is the cheese. Mild cheddar cheese. I'm gonna rip it open. Now, our mixture is already nice and manageable. It's mixed up nicely. There's no clumps of cream cheese in there, and everything looks nice. Now, we're gonna pour the cheddar cheese in there. Real cheesy. When you mix this up, if you choose to use a cook, uh, crock pot, you might want to go ahead and use some mittens or something like that. And if you don't use mittens, you might burn your little baby hands. I have man hands, okay? So I don't have an issue with that. Also, like, I. I used to bob for apples and deep fryers, okay? So everything on me is just, it's fine. Very manly, very masculine. Mixed up, cool. Now, I'm gonna add some of this Frank's Red Hot. I said it the right way that time. Go ahead and take this off. Ah. Man hands. Gonna pour about like half the bottle up in there. Just a shot. Cool. We'll mix it up slowly or it's gonna have hot sauce splatting around all over the place. Whew. <laughs> that hit the left nostril. It's, uh, it's a bit potent. You may want to calculate, calculization, calculate how much hot sauce you put up in there. Cause it is strong to the third degree. All right, that's mixed nicely. Put the cap on here. It's in my eye. It's in my eye. It's in my eye. Okay. I got. Oh, I got man eyes. I got man eyes. Oh. 
And after you do that, you, um, you're good to go. And we just gotta let it heat up for a little bit. I'm gonna go and do a face wash real quick. All right, so we're gonna do an audible, okay? The, the recipe online calls for some sour cream. We've never really done it in this batch. We've kind of added sour cream in the past to our own batch, but we're gonna add a little bit here. Just a little bit. And the wrapper is probably not off of the sour cream, so before you use sour cream, you gotta take off the, the wrapper thing like that. Then you can go ahead and put that on and put a little bit of sour cream like that. Boom, little circle, and we're all set to go. Mix that up real nice. Okay, so now that we have our mixture all mixed up and it's nice and manageable, it's done pretty much. Now is the topping. So we're gonna add cheese, and we're gonna evenly layer it. Boom. And evenly layer it. This way, in the crock pot, it may not get that nice golden brown, but in the oven, it will do that. So if you wanna cook it in the oven for the nice golden brown, crispy cheese look or whatever, it'll do it. The crock pot, it'll just melt it. Oven, golden brown, crispy, crock pot, just melt it. So we're gonna get a nice melted, even layer of cheese on top. We're gonna let that cook for, I don't know, and you're gonna play it by maybe 30 minutes, okay? After 30 minutes, it should be manageable and uh, edible, I hope. And uh, hopefully we don't feel it when it comes out. Yeah. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching the video. We appreciate the view. Please like our video. Please comment what you would like us to do for a next cooking video. And subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more. Anything to add? Um, thanks again for watching the video. If you want to watch us make something else, let us know below. We have a lot of fun making these videos. Thank you for watching. See you later.